position. Mikel Jalabert takes fourth and Bunra Binkaz third. The top two positions decided between the two heat winners, Adam Raga and Tony Bo. So the third head-to-head -head final of the season and the second time that Adam Raga and Tony Bo have met in this stage. Raga the first out in the grand final for the first time this season. Section number one. This a repeat of section one from the first lap, but with an additional step. Raga making his way towards that stage now. Section number one of this grand final. It's head-to-head, -head, so Raga will take on section one. Then Tony Bo will take on the same section. A slight change in format compared to the heat stages, where it was six minutes to complete six sections consecutively. Five sections in the grand final compared to six in the two previous finals this season. Adam Raga building up towards this step. He's dropped a single mark for leaning there. Having to stop on the sub. He's making a decision about his next move and off the side of the section to a five mark score. He just got it wrong as he moved from the top of that step and out he goes to a five mark score out of the course there. Now it's time for Tony Bow. An early opportunity to take the lead in this grand final. Nine times winner of the X trial to lose as a non-championship event and winner of 12 of the last 13 X trials to have taken place in France. Nicely stopped on the front wheel there from Tony Bow, who balances on the top of the section, trying to avoid dropping any marks at all for leaning, remember. This step cost Adam Ragger a single mark for leaning. Will Tony Bow be able to make it through clean? And will he indeed be able to complete section number one after Adam Ragger's failure? Brilliantly stopped on the back wheel from Tony Bow, and over he goes. Amazing work from Tony Bow. Still clean in section number one. Still good on time as well. 60 seconds, remember, to complete each of the sections in the final. But Tony Bow will make it through in 49 seconds, 11 seconds to spare and clean in section one to take an immediate five mark advantage with four sections remaining. Now on to section two and this is where time starts to play a factor. Section two completed in both round one and round two configurations consecutively here must be completed within the one minute time allowance. Certainly the longest section of the night. The only advantage the riders have is that in the return direction, they don't need to take the drop to the section's lowest point. A single mark drop there for Adam Ragger. That moves him on to six for the lap so far. Second step also seeing him concede a mark for leaning. Adam Ragger, four times winner of the X trial to lose most recently in 2015, makes it through the first half of section number two. Problem for Raga here will be time because he's used more than half of it doing the first half of the section. He's starting to rush now, but it's going to be very tight indeed. And at the moment, it doesn't look as though Adam Raga is going to make it through. Less than 10 seconds on the timer as he makes it up the step. But it's a failure in section number two for Adam Raga on time. He's going to make it to the end of this section by the looks of it. It would have been a couple of marks on observation, but 75 seconds he eventually makes it through in. And that is a failure. More than 60 seconds and the section is incomplete. So Adam Raga on a maximum 10 marks from the two sections so far. Adam Raga at a severe disadvantage compared to Tony Bow, who is yet to drop a mark. What will be Bow's approach in this second section? Seeing Adam Raga fail by a 15 second margin, Bow has made the decision to rush in the early stages of section two. He's dropped a mark on observation on the first step. He drops another on the second, as you can see from the onboard camera. Tony Bow continuing to press on here, and he's almost halfway through this section with 40 seconds still in his favor. Tony Bow in section number two, making it in the second direction now with two marks dropped so far. Brilliant performance, showing real alacrity in the first half of the section. And now a more measured approach to the second. He's got just one more mark to play with, but he doesn't need it. He makes it through that step without conceding any further marks on observation. Now it's about making it on time. 52 seconds for Tony Bow. He's done it. Eight seconds clear. 23 seconds faster than Adam Ragger. That is incredible in section two from Tony Bow. Adam Ragger on 10 marks. Tony Bow on just two. 
And so far, it's been a demolition of Adam Raga in this final. The four times world champion really struggling at this stage and down to a five mark score. Right in the early stages of section three. Well, that part of the section Raga had completed successfully previously in this evening's event. So I think it's all starting to unravel now for Adam Raga. Great sportsmanship being shown by Tony Bo, aiding Raga in wrestling the machine away from its trapped position in the section. But it's Tony Bo now on to section three. Two marks or better here for Bo will give him the X trial with two sections to spare. It'll be the first time this season we haven't gone down to the final section of the night. Bo is up where Raga failed. And now the more challenging part of this section, the only difference compared to the previous laps, the jump here and the step that cost several riders marks earlier on in the night has cost Bo a single mark there, but it will still be enough. Tony Bo wins his 10th consecutive Extra World Championship event, the third of this 2018 campaign to further extend his championship advantage this season. A new era of Extra competition, but a familiar name on top as Tony Bo wins once again. Adam Raka heading into section number four, but it's an immediate fail. The minder has to catch the front wheel. That step, the first part of a combination of section five from the opening lap and section four from the second round. And that step caught out several riders in the opening laps. Tony Bowes made it up though with no great difficulty and he's now making it an emphatic advantage in this grand final. 17 marks ahead of Adam Raga as things stand, already guaranteed victory. And now just putting the icing on the cake here in Toulouse. His 10th victory in this city and his 14th X-Trial victory in France. Seen riders drop single marks on this part of the hazard earlier on in the evening. Tony Bow made it through this stage clean earlier on and does the same once again in exactly the same fashion. Superb in section four, 45 seconds. Bow making it look easy. Raga failed on the opening step and at the end of section four, it's Raga on 20, Bow on three. Now there might be some respite in section five here for Adam Raga because he made it up these opening steps and was the only rider to do so in the second round. He does it again in the final. Adam Raga bidding to get through his first section of this grand final. He's failed all four of them so far. Adam Raga undoubtedly one of the sport's all-time greats. He's been among the top three in the world rankings every year since 2002. Looks set to do so again this season. He's the only rider who seems to be able to stay close to Tony Bo, but he hasn't been close to him in the final here tonight. Adam Raga will complete section five doesn't really need to rush he's good on time he's worked through with great alacrity strong in the steps at the start of this section where technical ability was needed and Adam Raga has made it through nicely so the four times world champions evening at least ends on a high note his first completed section on an historic evening for him in which he registers his 100th career podium as an extra world championship rider section five Tony Bowe well, he failed that staircase previously, but no such luck for his rivals this time around. Bo is straight up and maintaining his 17 mark advantage in this grand final. The points deficit doesn't mean too much in terms of this event. Bo will take five championship points over Adam Ragger this evening to add to his pre-existing championship advantage. And Tony Bo so far has made it look like a cakewalk in 2018. Five mark advantages in the first two grand finals of the year. This one has certainly been his most dominant performance of the 2018 campaign. Tony Bo making it through the gates at the top of the section. His minder looking on. Bo almost through. He's not in such a strong position as Adam Raggett in terms of time. He's taken his time so far. And it's going to have to be a rush through the last step of this section as he makes it over back wheel first sideways through Tony Bow 59 seconds so very very tight on time in the end but he does make it through clean and Tony Bow finishes the lap on three Adam Raga on 20 it's yet another X trial win for Tony Bow
So just three marks ultimately separating the four non-qualified riders in the second round of heats that decided Mikel Jalabert's progression to Strasbourg. But he missed out on a place on the podium by just two marks at the expense of Benoit Bincaz. Really incredible. It's magical for me. A dream that's become reality. A podium in the World Championship was a childhood dream. And now I'm here tonight. A great result, but it was far from a perfect race. I did make some mistakes. But anyway, this has given me a lot of confidence in myself and for the remainder of the championship, now that I've taken third in the standings as well. I'm happy with this second position. The race was very difficult in all of the rounds, but particularly in the final, where the sections were very tough. Anyway, I'm happy with the result and how things went. I'm very happy. I really suffered physically on the first lap and the second as well to get to the final. My arms were right on the limit. But in the final, even though the sections were harder, with the sections one after the other, I was able to get back to my best riding. And I think this has been my best race so far this year. Benoit Bincaz becomes the first French extra podium finisher since Bruno Camozzi in 2001 and in the process moves third in the championship standings with James Dable dropping back. 1985 Toulouse indoor trial winner Bernie Schreiber of the USA presents the trophies to Bincaz in third, Raga in second and Tony Bow the winner on his return to the scene of his extra debut some 13 years ago. He has a go, he's not going to make it up first time anyway.